Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some programs, specifically one in particular, Tulsa Remote. There's a lot of cities now that are in sort of these Midwest areas that are looking to attract remote workers or people who, in, in essence, make their own money that don't live in the state. There's a lot of benefits to that from them. One, you're going to start paying taxes, but they're, they're offering you items such as $10,000 rent, uh, or $10,000 towards your mortgage and free co-working space for a year. So I actually just went through one of these programs uh, because we were looking to uh, relocate and Tulsa Remote is one of them. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about that program that's still open and also um, some of the, the caveats to that because most of these programs work pretty similarly. And I'll, I'll name a few uh, based off this great article, Remote Bliss, which uh, – took all of the various ones and compiled uh, it down but it's continue going to continue to be a trend so for some of us who are working remote or have the ability to this is a great opportunity for you to you know either get a free move get some free money uh get your lay down some roots and really relocate to uh an area you're interested in if any of those work for you I want to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. Dev Mountain has various programs from iOS development to UI UX, full stack web development, and quality assurance. I actually had the pleasure of visiting one of their campuses about two years ago in Provo when they still had a location there. And it was a fantastic experience just to be able to meet everybody, see the campus, and it one thing that's unique about them is they actually include housing with their tuition. So if you're interested, check the link in the description below. All right. So as I mentioned, Tulsa Remote is the one that I went to. I was a semi-finalist and pretty sure I was going to be a finalist. Uh, but they um, they actually, I sent them an email more or less saying, um, you know, it's not going to work for us. Basically, when we, I, I submitted my application for them, they, um, the way Tulsa Remote works is they take about 250 people and uh, you essentially sign up for the email list. They did this, uh, I think this is their second or third year doing it, but it's open right now. TulsaRemote.com if you want to go there. And, you know, part of, part of the reason that I'm open to this is one, I want to relocate to the Midwest. This specific location, after I looked into it a little bit more in depth, basically what I did was like a year ago. I was just like, these three comp these three states, bam, bam, bam. I applied to all of them when I was like, dude, states are doing that? That's fantastic. Um, but, uh, it just wasn't west enough for us, uh, so the deal the for that idea. But um, the general flow is pretty much this: you apply. In this case, they give you ten thousand dollars cash, a a desk at a co working space for a year, uh, but it's not completely free, right? You have to interview, obviously. Um, but uh, and the the cost of living is quite cheaper, right? And so. You know, that's one of the reasons if you're looking to get away from the city, you know, T Tulsa's not a small city. I think there's like 400,000 people, but depending on your perspective. But you can see um, if you go renting to buying, right, San Francisco, 83% lower. Um, you know, depending on where you want, New York, New York. If you're coming from L.A. to California, Washington, D.C., Seattle, Washington, Boston, Massachusetts, Denver, Colorado, it's 64%. So it, it gets, you know, it's one of the reasons that you do it is you want something smaller. You can see sort of what that's going to give you. And so even these are some of their more expensive homes, which are pretty, pretty nice. Um, but I, I looked at them earlier. Uh, they're really nice. But, yeah, I don't want to go. This isn't a real estate channel. But uh, one thing to watch out for these is um, the interview process is pretty straightforward. So you apply. If they like what you have to say, it's going to ask you questions about what you do, um, why Tulsa. Like for me, I, I'm just looking to lay down roots. So I just sort of told them that. Like uh, I work as a software engineer, fully remote. I have some pass other passive income streams, and I'm looking to live in a low-cost area that's in the Midwest. And that was enough for me to go from a quarterfinalist to a semifinalist. And in the semifinalist, you get an interview where they're going to ask you some questions. In my interview, they asked exactly how much money I make. And what I found a little bit confusing about this was that the intent here is for supplemental income. And like, I know I have a high income, right? Um, and they, so maybe, maybe they would have disqualified me as a finalist because that, um, like, that so I you know I, I make about 150k a year, and in the in the 
in the conversation it's like well how much do you make this is sort of supposed to be a supplemental income which is kind of strange because like if you work remote chances are you get paid very well because and or if you have a business you do very well but um that's one thing to watch out for is you may you it may disqualify you depending on how much money you make i don't know because uh i, I withdrew myself but something to consider now uh, another thing with this specific program, if you go into like the program terms and conditions, which which I include you, I always recommend that you do, is that they they don't just cut you a check for ten grand up front, right? So in this case, you get uh, twenty five hundred, and then over the next year, you get five five hundred dollars a month, and then um, uh, within uh, at the end of the year, an extra fifteen hundred to equal ten thousand dollars so um don't think you're like yo man i'm gonna get there week one 10k bounce that's not really how it's gonna work and that's not what you should be doing right when one thing i would say if you're looking for these programs really in take the the heart of the program see the city um you know before i and i said this in my my semi-final this conversation that before we actually move there because we've only passed through it it seemed like a nice city we just drove through it when we moved across the country no big deal uh but um if they decided they were going to move forward with us and we had to give them a decision within, you know, X amount of days, we we're actually going to drive out there, fly out there, spend a week in the city, see if it's for us, right? And and uh, take advantage of that. Um, so a couple other programs that are out there, for those of you who maybe Tulsa is in it, um, remotebliss.com slash states dash that dash pay dash you dash to dash move dash there. I said that and I point to that here. In case I forget to put the link in the video, <laughs> but um, you know Tulsa's not the only one. You have things like Vermont, which will uh, pay you ten grand to cover cover your moving and work expenses. So if you want to go to certain areas in Vermont, you know you can check it out here. A lot of these you apply, answer some questions, and then wait to hear back. That's the general uh, go uh, general deal. And some of them will actually have you go and have an employer verify it more or less they might ask you for your employer information to make sure that everything's on the up and up baltimore maryland um offers you a free five thousand dollar home loan that if you're there in five years later you don't have to pay back um and if you move into one of their abandoned homes they give you 10 grand towards that so that's pretty nice it's like 15 grand to, to relocate if they stack um, Indiana, 20% off your first year of rent. If you sign a year lease or $1,000, um, down Ohio, $5,000, uh, dollars, uh, to young professionals. I don't, I don't know maybe if that's a requirement, probably not just probably professionals. And I think this is supposed to be a STEM background. Um, maybe not. Wasn't there a whole thing about it was like science, technology, engineering, art, math. They wanted to add math in here. They're trying to be all hipsterish uh, but yeah uh harmony minnesota five thousand twelve thousand dollars niagara falls new york up to thousand seven thousand dollars student loans now if you are like me where you're you're a little bit more flexible where you want to live what i require is cold weather um low property cost low cost of living that's really what i'm looking for and for me that that opens up a lot of different areas in, in the Midwest, anyhow, that that's generally set. Um, Ten thousand dollars interest free loan, thirty thousand if you uh, if you upgrade your house with uh, energy, get some solar panels in there, stop paying for it. Um, New Richland, Minnesota, free land. They just literally will give you land to go and build something there, um, which is kind of nice, right? So free land, uh, signing bonus five thousand dollars if you uh, if you um, go there uh rural rural opportunity zones um repayment assistance of up to fifteen thousand dollars for your student loan state income tax waiver don't pay state income tax for five years i don't know what it is in kansas city but it's, if that's five percent and you are a you make a hundred thousand dollars a year that's twenty five thousand dollars that you're saving right there um so even if you plan on going to some of these areas for a short while, five years is a short while in my definition, or maybe 10 years, 10 years is a long time. When I came to Florida, it was a, uh, it was a five year plan. All right. Um, all right. Now I think this is the steam tech. What was it? Yeah, no, no, it was the, uh, 
I yeah now I got I right, so art is the A they want to add this I don't I don't know that I agree <laughs> but uh, we'll teach their own. yeah uh the home come fifteen thousand dollars for um, Steam graduates uh to if you're from Michigan and you want to come back and get get your life started and then of course Alaska's had a uh, a program for quite some time where essentially based off of the um you get basically a dividend of twelve fifty a year if you live in uh. Alaska, so something to consider, and they make a good point here is that you want to find the right area for you, and that there's a a large difference between like getting a, a one bedroom apartment in Tulsa is six hundred and thirty dollars, while in, in their example here, which I think is low by the way, the two thousand four hundred seventy one. I I think that's gone. Last I heard, that's gone up to about four grand, <laughs> um, but even so, that's still expensive. But you know. It's a it's great for your career if you're if you're open to relocating if you're open to um, a couple different areas like me I like to be close to family but not too close I mean like there it's cool if there's a state that you know that's in between us or the borders touch like like that that's sort of where I'm trying to get but not like in the same state not that I don't love my family or anything but like good healthy amount of separation is, is healthy <laughs> uh, but yeah stuff to consider and something i think we're going to see more and more of i know as a lot of people have student loans and a lot of people um need ways to save money that one thing that i recommend for anybody is to get rid of your student loans and to get rid of your debt as quickly as possible um, you know, I'm very big on not having any debt. The only debt I carry is my mortgage. And after that, I plan on paying this off in five years. After that, maybe I'll just have one house that I'm, I'm fronting uh, every now and again. I don't know, but I, I'm very big on not having any debt because I like my money to make money and not pay money. And it lowers my cost of living. So when bad stuff happens in life and so anyhow, the point I'm trying to make is that if you're trying to get creative with how to maybe pay back some of your student loans or how to maybe get a house earlier than you thought you could, um, lower cost areas that are even willing to pay you to relocate if you have um, a remote job or a business that you can take there is a fantastic opportunity. I encourage you to look into it. And all it really takes is you to go and sign up. And it took me, I think, five to ten minutes to fill, fill out that Tulsa remote form. So a lot of really cool stuff. Um, check it out. We are in the unique position as software engineers and aspiring software engineers to be able to take advantage of programs like this. So I think you should uh, give it a shot. Uh, but as always, guys, I forgot at the beginning of the vi this video to do it. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and that like button. Uh, I'm trying to get to that road to 100,000. Uh, and uh, if you like what I said, come back next time. <laughs> and if you're interested in my courses, there are links in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.